video, I'm going to teach a snowboarder within two hours how to ski. Morning, everybody. <laughs> Morse is Australian and uh, he's a snowboarder, and we're often actually riding in the deep powder off piece. But because conditions have been really changeable and we've had a lot of rain here in Teen in France, that we're actually going to do like a mid pivot change. And, uh, and look at this skis for Morse snowboarder turning into skier. How bizarre, but I'm excited. It's going to be good. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is going to be such a challenge. I've only got two hours, so let's dive into it. So first of all, we need to go through just roughly the equipment. I've um, got to make sure that the skis are not too tall. Okay, so ideally the chin length is perfect. Okay, we want the din setting, which is actually the release here, not too high. Um, and it's a nice piece ski that we're going to be using. Poles, and we've got boots. It's very bizarre seeing Morse <laughs> in ski boots. Now the ski boots need to be done up nice and tight, okay? Um, and especially the booster strap here. Mm -hmm. It needs to be really nice and close. Now the biggest thing is do not put your salopettes into the ski boot, otherwise it will rub. So not like this, we're going to take it out. Um, so no layers underneath, just the sock. And, this. and it's really important just to have one pair of socks, okay? Yep. And the salopette goes over. Over the boots. Yeah. This snowboarder in skis, but very That's exciting. Awesome. We've introduced the ski that we've got the tip and the tail but we've also got the edges make sure that they're nice and sharp and they're cutting your nail and then we've also got a base okay so what happens in skiing is that if I say you need to have more edge you have more tilt of the ski if you need to have a flat ski you more have more base okay which is really important and you've got this brake system as well so on average when you do fall over it should release most of the time so then you can come out of the ski. So the first thing we're going to do, really, I don't want to rush into it too quickly because the fundamentals of skiing is really important. But the basic thing is, is to actually get Morse to be balanced first on the skis. So we're going to do a couple of one leg skiing exercises. So we're going to jump into the ski. And we're going to go for a bit of a scoot. Now it's really important to get that balance and actually feeling good and strong on the ski. We're going to find a little down slope, very small, with a run out, and we're actually going to balance on one ski. Now it's so important to look ahead, okay? So try not to look at your feet, which is really hard when you're skiing, especially for the first time. And the arm carriage is out like uh, in front holding two beers okay. okay so good to get the fundamentals right good balance good posture in the beginning it's really going to pay dividend to your skiing all the way through and for Morse it's great to learn skiing because then he can use the drills and the techniques and teach his children as well so we're going to improve on this one hands out like two beers and upper body really still. We're really confident on one ski. We're actually going to take this ski off. And there's two ways you can take a ski off. One way is using the pole, where you can actually press the back of the binding with the pole. And you lift your foot up. That's it, push down, lift your foot up. Yeah. The other way is you actually use your foot and other ski to press down the lever at the back, the binding at the back, and release. Ah, it's a little bit trickier, that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a balancing act. Like so that. press down, yeah, and lift that, that foot up, yeah. That's it, that's it, lift it up. Brilliant. Yeah, the right foot in. So it's good to actually use this drill on both skis. And you'll find that one foot is a lot stronger than the other. Okay. Right, are you ready? Yep. Hold that beer. Look at ahead, look at ahead, upper body still. You 
we've come to our other ski and what we're going to do is put our other ski on. Now a really golden rule that's going to save you on the mountain is if you've got one ski on first you've got to make sure it's on the downhill leg. So that's the slope going down so you make sure it's that way and then you put the ski on. You do not want it to be here we go, if you point that way, yeah. You do not want to put your ski on when your ski is on the uphill leg. It doesn't work, okay? So when you're on steeper pitches, it doesn't work. It's virtually impossible to put your ski on. So make sure that you have the ski that's on already is on the downhill leg. If you don't have any ski on, then make sure you start with the downhill leg. Got it? Okay, yep. Downhill leg. Downhill. And then what we're going to do is we pick up this ski here and you just put it underneath the hips and jump in. Yay! Welcome to two skis. <laughs> Moss, two skis. Here we go. So two skis, we're just going to do a couple of exercises. Okay, one is actually lifting up one foot and then the other. That's it. And you want to try and have it nice and slowly Okay, that's it, and up. Now try and use it without the poles, and balance on one leg. That's it, and then down, and then the next one. Whoa! That's it. Look ahead, and the hands up. Good. Then try and shuffle the feet, forward and back. Okay, they're quite slippery, aren't they? Yeah. Slippery planks. Great. Now, what I want you to do now, okay, is um, I just want you to follow me and see if you can step round in a 360. Using the sides of the ski. That's it. 360 one way and then we're going to go 360 the other way okay great now see if you can jump okay awesome. so see if you can jump with your eyes in front and hands in front yeah that's better nice and centered so it's really important to get that agility into the skiing straight away. Look how much you can bend and stretch. Okay, so when we start skiing, we start in a snow plow. And uh, what it is, is literally we rotate our legs, we bring our tips together and our tails apart. And it's in this kind of shape that we have. And we learn this snow plow and it's our braking system and it's our turning system. Okay, that's it. So we're going to go from straight skis. Sometimes it's called chips in skiing. And then to snow plow. So straight, snow plow, yes. Straight, snow plow. And you want to make sure that the knees are apart like that and they're not in together. So you do not want knees in together like that. Like now the main thing is to actually push out the skis and rotate the legs in both at the same time. Whilst looking ahead and hands in front. All right. So now we go back to our little bit of a slope. And we're gonna do a bit of sliding. So Morse is ready to go. He's got two skis on now. So we're going to talk about the posture. So it's really important to be nice and relaxed. So don't forget to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> now the knees will actually be, they're actually bent in a ski boot anyway. So we don't need to over bend them. But the most important thing is that the hip is just over the back of the bindings. Okay, it's just like walking to the bar. I've always got the bar analogy. Yeah, hands in front, really important, the arm carriage and looking ahead. And all what we're going to be is nice and balanced, 50-50 on two skis. And we're just going to go straight and do a straight run out. Go for it. 
And then looking ahead, hands in front. That's better. Good. Some skating where we use, just like ice skating, we use the inside edges to come up. Good work. That is good work. Hey, that's good work. Yes. Yeah. Now is to side step up. Now this is a really important skill and really needed, not only at beginner level, but also, you know, advanced level. So what you need to make sure is that you use the edges of the skis. So you tilt the ankles and knees and you step up like walking up to the elevator. So now the next thing is I'm gonna introduce the uh, snow plow. Now Morse is nice and balanced so what I've done is I've put a target in front and what Morse is going to do is he's going to slide down and try and open into a snow plow and stop in between. So push out. Yay! Boom. We've got the balance and we know we can stop and we're balanced in a straight line. Ah oh, yes! Morse has fallen over. Okay, hold it there, hold it there. Technique of coming round. Okay, so in this scenario, you need to swivel the, uh, the skis around so they're at the bottom of the slope. So they've got to be underneath you, and then you push up. Ah, oh, yes. Awesome. Now, also crash-wise, sometimes it's easier just to take a ski off. It's entirely up to you. That was good effort. <laughs> first time, first fall over. It's six degrees today. Six degrees at 2010. It's crazy. It's like global warming. We're on the big slope and all what we're gonna be doing is practicing our snowplow glide. So we get a bit of speed and then we open our legs into the snowplow gently and keep pushing out so don't worry about the poles okay keep pushing out push out push out push out that's it keep pushing out both feet together looking ahead hands in front pushing out pushing out pushing out and stop all oh, right good for the first go brilliant and then just follow me, still in the snow plow when you're coming round. Okay, then little steps round. Have you been on one of these before? The tunnel, which is amazing, an elevator. And it's really important to wait for the green light. And when you do, you step up. Really small steps onto the belt, like being at the airport. Yeah. At the moment, are really icy on the piste, so that's why we're sort of changing. And Morse is going from snowboarding to skier. You never know; he might like it. He could be persuaded. and it's really important any part of the lift is once you come off the lifts is then to get out the way of everyone else great skills so it's really important when you do a snowplow glide that the hips are over the feet okay so the hips are over the feet and we're just going to go that's it to keep them over the feet and we're just going to go slowly, slow as you possibly can. Now you don't want to rush this. You want to keep the hips over the feet and go as slowly as you can in a snowplow glide. To get nice and balanced, feel the pressure on the balls of the feet, both feet, and pushing out, pushing out, pushing out, pushing out. 40 minutes. 
brilliant. We're doing really well. Okay, so it's so important not to rush this stage and to really gain your balance and repetition to be nice and solid on your skis. So we're going to go as slow as we can. Okay, shins on the front of the boot and making sure that the hips are over the feet. And we're going to get into turning. So I've put these two poles in pretty much down the full line so then it's actually achievable to make the turns. Now what's really important is actually um, it's all about the outside ski and rotating the outside leg round to turn. And skiing is very, you know, one-sided, one ski sport. So we want to get the rotation first before we can add anything else. Turning, we want a little bit of momentum, okay, to keep our posture all together. And if I want to go left, all I'm thinking about, still in a little bit of a snow plow, is to actually rotate that outside ski. So, for going left, I'm thinking about turning the right foot and pointing the ski to where I want to go. Okay, if I'm going right, I'm going to be thinking about pushing out on that left foot and pointing the ski to where we want to go. Right foot, that's it. Arms out in front, left foot. Yeah, and then back down to the left. Boom, that was a good one. Keep me hanging. <laughs> well we've got 40 minutes to go so now we're going to head over to a slightly bigger slope and uh, put all our skills and training in now it's really important <laughs> is not to uh, forget what we've been taught and uh, how to stop how to start and off we go are you ready for this Morse? One. good skating skills it's the feet that are steering and it's nothing else. Okay, we're going to slow down and stop pointing across. So it's really important to come round as a beginner and to actually close the turn to start with with the skis horizontal. Okay, so we need to come round and close that turn. It. Stand up. Okay, that's it. Knees apart. That's it. Just relax, breathe. Woo. First time on a button lift. Easier than on a snowboard. Easier than on a snowboard. <laughs> Are you going to be converted? Ah, first time on a button lift. So it's always good when you've got teaching someone oh, and it's their first time on a lift. I often take their poles because it's important just to practice on getting on and uh, you don't need any extra equipment to uh, get confused on. Feel the down slope and as soon as you're on the down slope like now, let go and out the way. Okay, now let go, good. In the snow plan, we're gonna get out the way as soon as possible. All right, boom. Just nice and relaxed. snowboarder turned into skier. Uh, the time's up, all done and succeeded in two hours. How does it feel? Yeah, very good, very good teaching floss, thanks a lot. <laughs> Great first morning. Now the big question is, are you going to convert? Are you going to be able to do both now? Or The ambition is to do both, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Thanks Amazing teaching with you, Morse. <laughs> And uh, if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and press that like, subscribe button. And uh, we will see you in the next one. Yay! Thanks, Moss. Thanks, Moss.